How's it going, body? And welcome back. Uh, I went ahead and got back, dropped off the items, and uh, it's the end of the day. So don't worry, I made sure to also add my team into the current schedule. We got back around noonish, so uh, we had about seven hours to kill. So we helped speed up the stone fence a little bit. Hi. Okay, the last person that showed up like this was a, a preacher and a uh, little girl. Man, you look like you're not in any of those categories. You look more like you eat people. By that I mean she looks tough. <laughs> uh, okay, Regina. Look, if I wanted to get in there and steal at something, you think this? Uh, I'd really walk up to the knock on the front gate? It would be an interesting way to do it. Okay, um, you're not needed. You can walk away now. <coughs> Miss, if, if you'll just calm down. I just need to get someone uh, and uh, we can talk. I think I need to go with the 20 packs a day voice for this lady. Well, darling, what about you? Hey, you. Yeah, you. You run in this place or do I, I just need to wipe this guy's ass? Uh, no, no, and, uh, no. There you are. I could r use your help here. Uh, let's see. I think she liked you, Davis. Not really my type. What's wrong, darling? Do you shit asses want to hear why I'm here or not? Why are you here? Like I've been trying to tell this crippled bastard near 10 minutes now. That's not really a nice way to get people's attention. It's actually quite mean. So that's why you're going to stay on the other side of that fence for now. I have information. You want it? Well, thing is, I need a place to crash. Well, there's a car down the road if you want to crash into a fence or something. Ain't gonna lay it all down, but maybe if you let me stay, you'd be better off uh, when it happens. And believe me, I'm the only person that's gonna give you a fighting chance against the shitstorm on its way. I'm gonna go ahead and call it now. The way she's dressed, she looks like a biker. I've been killing a lot of bikers lately. I'm guessing they want revenge. Maybe it was a, you know, since I just got done wiping out that uh, group of uh, guys at the gas station... Maybe it has to do with, you know, maybe there's a kill counter that counts up and after you hit a certain amount of kills of living targets, it starts this event or something. I don't know. That voice is kind of making my throat a little sore. Cryptic. I like it. Hmm. Let's see. Cryptic. I like it. You can stay. Swell. Here are my terms. First of all, I don't take orders unless I get a say in the operations. Okay, you're going to leave now. You don't get any say in the operations. No personal questions. Third, anyone lays a hand on me, I will shoot them in the dick. Well, she got right to the point. If I may, one personal question. Do you have a name? Regina. Just Regina. Alright, Miss Just Regina. Nice to meet you, Miss Just Regina. Don't be a wise ass. Alright. Don't ask my last name, or if it's my real name. That's what you call me. Now, I've been on the road for hours. Where can I, uh, where the, where's the can in the, okay. Well, ma'am, it's a school, therefore they're all very well labeled. All you gotta do is walk down the hall you will see it eventually. And now the hair is getting in my face. <laughs> I'm sure Davis would love to show you. And you can wipe his ass later, since you brought that up earlier. All right. <laughs> oh, man. This is awesome. Kid, what are you doing? I can't see you on the screen. I don't know what's going on. 
Well, there, kid. Uh, let's get you back to your room. Oh no, you let him try your special drinks, didn't you? Your daddy drinks? Did you, did, Ch Cobra? Did you let him try the daddy drinks? He's not ready for daddy drinks yet. No way. I feel too. Hang in there. Almost back to your room. No, no, no. He's near a swing set. I'm cool. No, you're not. Ryan throws up on himself. That's a sign of coolness right there if I've ever seen some. Is he drunk? I wouldn't know. I can't see him on the screen. It's not just you. I can't see him either. Lovely. Are you you're cleaning that up, Cobron? Uh I can explain. Kid couldn't sleep and I thought a little booze might help. Because, well, everybody should learn how to appreciate whiskey at some point in their lives. Not really. I've never touched alcohol in my life. It's an expensive habit I never want to pick up. Alright. Okay. Unfortunately, I may have overestimated how much Ryan could appreciate it once. Luckily, he's already done with the uh, teaching uh, English lesson, so it's not like he's uh, slowing me down on the medic front. It's irresponsible. Look at me, Mark. I smell puke. Oh, jeez. Look, the kids barely had time to be a teenager. I thought I'd let him uh, get a little drunk. You know, going doing something stupid like a normal kid his age should do. Eh, I never did stupid stuff like that, as he put it. If you did, that's fine. Whatever, that's you. You do you, I do me. Yeah. Anyway... Let's see. He's out for a day, and it's your fault. I should dock your food for... You do not threaten to dock the food of the chef! And anybody you dock, don't dock the food from is the chef. Because you're going to end up eating cockroaches for the next week if you do that. I don't know. I'm cool. No. 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 Ryan burps up more puke on himself. Thanks for understanding. He needs moments like this. It's good for him. No! No, it's not! He's got puke on himself. He's got puke everywhere. I just realized, I think I put Todd on the cleanup duty. Maybe this is working out well. <laughs> Take that, Todd. Alright. Now, let's get you cleaned up. Come on, Ryan. Woohoo! Oh, what was that? Uh, Big Hero 6? He's like... Fuzzy baby holding the cat. <laughs> yeah, I don't see nobody out there. All right. Okay, the camera was over here. It should have been down here. That's what happened. Camera got in a weird place. So Ryan's out. Hmm. Regina? Well, what is your skills? You're a melee expert. Mechanical, survival, da 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 She's got good leadership. I'll give her that much. I bet she's a biker gang leader. All right. At least uh, we lost one to got one, right? Where is Ryan? There he is. He's sick for 24 hours, so yeah. It's going to be a little while. We still need a welding torch, though. Survival skill. I need somebody with survival skill eight. I don't think any have anybody with survival skill eight yet. Science skill, mechanical skill. And uh, I'm up to 123 parts. I've actually destroyed a lot of tools and a lot of weapons to get back my scrap after that incident we had. Plus, when we raided the barn, we got a lot back there, too. Alright, Regina. I'm betting it's booze and pot for you, isn't it? Is that what you want? I knew it! I called it before I even saw it! A bourbon and weed. See? I knew it! I knew as soon as I saw her character type, I said, She's gotta be the tough biker chick, so it's gotta be booze and weed. 
I was thinking maybe cigars. It might have been a slight possibility, but it had to be those two. Hey, Joel. Um, if she turns you over, <laughs> just accept it, because you're not going to be able to stop her. <laughs> that wraps up uh, 15 songs in a row. Up next is more music. Here's the secret grandmas with a... Uh, let, uh, look at me. I'm a joke here. Ha 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 We're on board. Okay. Well, that was it. I think I missed the radio yesterday, too. Oh, well. The good news is we're more further along with the fence finishing, so we got like two or three days before we're done with it. What? I'm eventually going to figure out what I need to do to get him to talk. Ugh, I will get it out of him eventually. At some point in time, he's going to get fill us in what's going on. I know it. Okay. Where do I want to head off to now? The way I'm looking at the map, there's a lot of space here. Obviously, there's a lot of space everywhere, but out of the areas we've gone to, there's a lot of space here. A little bit of space here that we could probably get to on horseback. A little bit of space here. And all of this. So, I think I'm going to head... Let's head down to the 281. We'll come up this way. And then when I feel like it, I'll cut back over. That way we can see if we come across anything. Oh, we found a... I don't have my fishing pole on me, so we're a little bit... A cheery old house. And this is a question mark location. Okay. I'll get a fishing pole later, and I'll come back and fish that spot. Because I don't have the fishing pole, so it's not going to do me any good. Hmm. Chicken coop. Yes, I will steal the gas. Hopefully the owners aren't inside and pissed off that I stole their gas. Not much else going on besides that like a little garden, laundry basket, so there's probably some clothes in it. Uh-oh. Well, they didn't end up too well. Murder, suicide, maybe? A lot of literature here. Oh. Um. Hi. Um. I'm a little worried about that dude. Something just put the um, runaway real fast notch in the back of my head when I saw him. I mean, he's standing in the doorway with a crowbar, just standing there. Uh, <laughs> were these two alive when you got here? That's my first question. For all I know, he's a psychopathic uh, Jason Voorhees type guy. I can't get to the backyard without talking to him, so, uh... Hi, Grant, you crazy-looking crowbar wielder. Whoa! If it, if you weren't anything... or if you want anything here, I'm not going to try and stop you. Now, my name is, uh, Grant White. Maybe he isn't crazy. Let's just talk, you and me. No reason for violence. Maybe we can help each other. Still seems like there's something a little off about this guy. Especially since they have him standing in the doorway. Like a surprise, you know, jump scare kind of thing. Of course, I said the same thing about Todd, but Todd's just, you know, a creepy uh, preacher guy. Anyone else here? Any, is it a trick? No, no trick. I completely understand why you'd be skeptical. I've been around. I've met those people. 
like, uh, like I said, I'm not looking for a fight. We can discuss the possibilities, or can I just be on the way? What do you have on you? No. It's not like we're robbing them on that. Not alone, not always. I'm just the only one left. Luck, speed, maybe smarts. I don't know. I don't think about it. You can't let anything distract you. Not anymore. Things are not adding up right with this guy. Things are not. I just got a uh, biker lady. I don't know if I need a crazy guy with us. He literally just says, I'm just the only one left. And there's two dead people in the next room. I don't think this guy is stable. I don't. I'm thinking he, whenever he gets tired of his group, kills them. Hmm. I'm not explaining the dead couple in the bedroom. Yeah, the Samuels. Nice old couple. I found their farm here a few days ago. Seem uh, ready, really happy here. Last night they made a really big meal, told stories about their life, opened a bottle of homemade fruit wine. This doesn't sound good. And this morning I found them dead. As they wanted uh, one more good night with someone to remember them. No! No, 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 no! People don't do that kind of stuff. Even in this situation. Good enough. That is not good enough. I've seen a lot of places. Lots of uh, resources, but uh, too dangerous for one man. I need other people uh, who know how to handle themselves. Someone who's interested in surviving, not just eating. I'm starting to picture this guy is less a psycho killer, more of a control freak, where if things don't go his way, he gets rid of the problem rather than just ignore it. This whole, you know, not just eating. Like, if there are people who are just eating and not doing work, then he's going to get rid of them kind of thing. Like these people with their big meal. He's probably like, how dare you make such a big meal? You know, you know, I, I need that food to survive. How dare you use it? And he kills them. How do I know you're not trying to tell me something I just want to hear? I'm going to reach in my backpack. I'm not going for a weapon. I want to show you something. This is a jar of peanut butter. Not impressive on its own. There's a whole plant of them, or pallet of them, and more, just sitting around. And I know where. Now I am interested. Crap! Oh, just leave it to a guy to trick you into something. Okay, um... Thanks, I have a good feeling about you. And I'm more than willing to do my part. He put puts it out his hand for a shake. Shake. Good firm grip. Always a good sign. The bells, man. The bells are going off on me. I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Something is wrong with this guy. I'm certain Vic and the others are probably like, no, don't do it. <laughs> but I want to get to the backyard, and I didn't want to have to kill him. <sighs> Hello, Tiki Tiki. I love how there's always gasoline in the grills. It's like, now you're cooking with gas, you know? <laughs> yeah, they put their land... Uh, their pillow in the laundry outside to hang up to dry. Okay. Yeah, he, he's definitely somebody I'm probably going to want to have to take out and uh, have an accident in the field with. Hey, uh, <laughs> me and Vic and uh, Gats are going to go out and have some fun. Um, come with us. And then we, you know, like push him. Is that a shelter? It might be a trash can that accidentally sunk into the ground, but it kind of looks like a storm shelter or fallout shelter or something. 
Oh, man. Yeah, that... I'm not liking the way that situation's going. Ooh, scrapyard. What do we got here? Other than scrap. I mean, I could always use more scrap. <laughs> got a lot of projects still to build. Just in case you're curious what I'm drinking, I'm drinking ginger ale. I love ginger ale. Yep, that's about what I expect. Uh, you know, you're out here pumping gas and all of a sudden the zombies show up. You're trapped here, you can't get out, so you got to abandon your car and run. Everybody else doesn't have enough gas to leave, so they ditch their cars. And some people are a little less fortunate getting out of their vehicle in time. Well, that is a lot of zombies, but it's a lot of people that died here, so I guess it makes sense. Good grief. I'm going to be churning up the... Uh, the uh, inventory items from zombie kills. You just had to miss, didn't you? Good. And I was kind of worried we weren't going to get the kill in there. Is that a cop zombie? Or at least a soldier zombie. Wearing a cop vest for some reason. Wonderful. Yeah, soldier corpse. Okay, you're filling me with worry now, guys. Getting there. And I ain't gonna be good, because he's gonna get a swing no matter what happens. Of course, Gats get attacked. He always gets attacked. He's got the most health, so it's not a problem. Let's go ahead and reload all our weapons. I didn't realize I hadn't done that yet. All right. Kandiva. I think I'm about to shoot him because oh well, maybe he can come out this way. far enough. Alright. We're going to start hitting... These guys are going to start triggering from our fight here, so... Come on, Gats. Here they come. Clickety-clack around the track. Oh, matter of fact, one's coming from inside the store, too. Which means you gotta move so we can let uh, Gats get out of there. So I'm gonna send him inside to help out with the store zombie. Good, good. Oh, an officer. Hey, we got more uh, 556. I've actually been finding a lot of that lately. I just haven't found the guns to go with it yet. Hold up there. And finish it off. Here come the rest. 
I mean, I knew the saddle was going to eventually get everybody. Okay, these two need to go after him. Uh. Better yet, come here. Nah, let's try and hit him. When I said try and hit him, I meant actually hit him. Come on, take him down. Yes. I'm kind of getting overwhelmed. That's why I'm like, okay, we got to start doing something. You got anything on you? You got an arrow. Good. Kind of low on those things, so it wouldn't hurt to have an extra one. Okay, we're getting a little surrounded here. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, we, yeah, we. Okay. Getting to the side might help a little bit. Notice there's a lot of zombie uh, soldiers around here. That's a no good. Almost dead. I, I can't waste his attack on that guy. Alright. I'm definitely concerned about the way this is going. There's a lot of zombies here. I think this is going to be an area that's going to be heavily infested. Okay, good. Pungent corpse. Kill it! Kill it with fire! One of these is the right corpse. I don't remember the name. Nope, it was not. They had nothing on them. Okay. Whew, okay. Hey, another rifle. Maybe we should start carrying these. I've actually gotten a quite a good bit of 7.62 ammo as well. Oh, crap. My vision was blocked. Now, now, now. I thought I had drawn all the zombies over here. That's where I <laughs> messed up. Bonk. Hmm. Yeah, I gotta get you in there close. Yay, we did it. It's going to be sad if the best scrap I get from that hardware truck. 
You lied to me, game. I'm looking at the time, so I'm probably going to start winding it down here in just a minute. Probably going to kill these zombies and we'll call it an episode. Uh... Attacking straight on has slightly less chance of hitting than hitting from the side, so... Even greater from the back. Hooray! Aww. Apparently the bonk was too much noise. Alright, and last but not least... Certainly not least. Max is our ace in the hole. It's funny, you'd think I would actually be more uh, nervous about Max in our group than having uh, that new guy that showed up, but Max is out for zombie blood. He doesn't care about human blood. The new guy, I don't know anything about, but the situation is too weird for me to ignore. Feel free to leave your comments down below of what you think about our new uh, guy that we found. It, does something seem off to you, or is it just me? Am I being paranoid about our new character? Anyway, if you like this episode, hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you feel like it, leave a comment below with your thoughts and opinions, especially on the new guy. Mm. All that soda I'm drinking, I'm getting hiccups, so I apologize about that. I've been hiccuping a lot in these episodes. Anyway, take care, everybody. Be safe out there, and I'll see you next time.